The New York Wine and Culinary Center opened its doors in June. Since that time, 65,000 people have walked through the doors, many testing their talents in the state-of-the-art kitchen classroom. Now it's my turn, and I'm going to show you what it's like to learn from the pros. This is a baking class, and it's centered around an ingredient, which is cranberry, which is great for this time of year. It's an ingredient that dates back to the first Thanksgiving dinner. Cranberries were first mixed with honey or syrup to form a sauce. But this class is no throwback to simpler times. From cranberry chiffon pie to cranberry tart, the recipes are daunting. What's even scarier, in just a few hours, complete strangers all taking this class are going to have to eat the concoction I've whipped up. You may not take a recipe out of a book or a magazine at home and try it because you're not sure of the ingredients or what you're doing. But in a setting like this, it's a safe environment. We have everything that you're going to need to, to make it happen. Chris Baldwin is confident in the abilities of this class. She's the director of operations and education at the New York Wine and Culinary Center. It's sharing, it's working together. Fortunately, we'll be working in a group, and it looks like my partners and I have the easiest recipe cranberry scones. Don't assume that anything is measured. We will be starting from scratch, mixing together all the ingredients and learning a new technique at the same time. We're in the hands-on kitchen, which means a small class where hands get very dirty. It's very interesting to know how you should do it as opposed to how you do do it. Mark Blazy and his wife Karen have taken classes here before. It's about four minutes away and the classes just sounded great and they're really well done and something to do with my husband, so that's fun. Some are much more at ease in the kitchen than others. Jennifer Curtis used to work in a bakery. I just love to bake. I've always done it, though. So anything to improve my skills. Even though I have no formal training, I was starting to feel like an old pro halfway through. We want everything done and in the oven or ready to go by a certain time so it can finish baking and cook, and then we can we bring it out and we taste. Under pressure. And the taste test was the icing on the cake. Needless to say, there were no leftovers. This isn't the only place where you can sharpen your culinary skills. Tonight at 11, we'll show you the popularity of cooking classes throughout our region. I'm Katrina Irwin, News 8 Now.